Hi all, Cricket Mania is back with another new video for you. But before that if you are new to this channel and not yet subscribed then subscribe to the Cricket Mania channel and also click the bell icon to get all the information and latest buzz around the Cricket world. Cricket Mania After two washed out days, one incomplete and one almost complete day, the World Test Championship WTC final between Virat Kohli's India and Kane Williamson led New Zealand came to life on day 5 when the Indian bowlers, in particular the Pacers, wreaked havoc. Starting the day at 101 for 2, the Kiwis were bundled out for 249, courtesy of Mohammad Shami's four wicket haul. This is something that even former India batsman VVS Laxman recognized and applauded as he gave credit to skipper Kohli for making timely changes in the attack. While speaking to Star Sports during the lunch break show, 46-year-old Laxman said Ross Taylor's wicket was a result of fantastic captaincy. A lot of credit for Ross Taylor wicket should be given to Virat Kohli. Ross Taylor has the tendency to play in the air when he plays the drives and Shubman Gill was stationed there, just parallel to the crease, silly mid-off position and that's the reason why he caught that blinder. Fantastic captaincy, a fantastic display of fast bowling, remarked Laxman. He added, it took a while to take the wicket of Ross Taylor but right from the word go the intensity of the Indian fast bowlers, which we were expecting from Indian fast bowlers, that was to be seen. Fantastic display of fast bowling, control aggression and a lot of discipline and also hats off to Virat Kohli, VVS Laxman told Star Sports. The first breakthrough of the day, after a first tough hour, came off Shami's bowling when Taylor, on 11, was caught brilliantly by Shubman Gill at short cover. One usually brings two but on this occasion, it brought three as Ishant Sharma soon removed Henry Nichols for seven before Shami castled Black Caps wicketkeeper batsman BJ Watling on one. Eventually, despite skipper Williamson's toiling knock of 49, 177 balls, the Kiwis ended their first innings with a 32-run lead. At the end of the day's play, India was 64 for two, leading by 32 runs with Kohli and Cheteshwar Pujara unbeaten. After two That's it guys for now. If you like this video then hit that like button. Also don't forget to share it with your buddies. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comment section. Tada.